Good day, Knights of the Round. It is I, Old Gamer Joe, back with another Media Moogle review. Today, we are looking at Night Squad on the Nintendo Switch. Here's an eight player party game that was previously released on the Xbox One, the PlayStation 4, and Steam as well. The Switch version will be available as of June 5th, 2020. There's a demo available for you to check out, and it will be $14.99 at its normal price, but will be coming out at $13.49 with a little discount. It was developed and published by Chain Awesome Games, and essentially it's a party game. You can have up to eight players, like I mentioned, you can do any combination of that number. But one thing you will have to understand about Night Squad is that this isn't going to be a very robust or interesting single player experience whatsoever. Despite the fact that you can use bots, this game was designed to be played with friends and locally. Obviously, at the time of this review, gathering a group of up to eight friends is not going to be the easiest thing to do, so we played it with just two players and a bunch of bots. I don't think this was the intended way of play, but it is what it is for now, as there is no online mode implemented, at least in the build that we played. But on the flip side of that, there is no shortage of game mode types in Night Squad. But just to give you a general idea of how these modes work, you start by selecting a knight of your choice, which there's a few to choose from. Each knight has a distinct personality and a color attached to them so that you can tell them apart from one another. And from there, you will spawn into an overhead arena similar to something you might see in a Bomberman game. In some of the game modes, you'll have to choose a team, and you can play with your friends in any order you wish. If you want to be on the red team, you can go to that side. If you want to be on the blue team, you can go to that side. And from there, you'll work either against or with each other in order to complete the task that's given to you. The moment-to-moment -moment gameplay in Night Squad is really quite simple. You'll just move around using the analog stick or the directional pad if you prefer, and any of the buttons really can be used for your attack. You just have a single attack, and there are power-ups also scattered across the map. These can vary from offensive attacks like lightning to defensive abilities such as being able to walk faster so that you can get to your goal. So it's an easily accessible title that shouldn't be a hurdle for anyone that's played a video game before. Like I mentioned, Night Squad has a ton of modes, including Capture the Grail, which will have players heading towards the middle of the screen in order to attempt grabbing that grail and bringing it back to their hub base, a more traditional Capture the Flag mode, and even a soccer mode, which perhaps Rocket League fans will appreciate. And while not every mode in the game is a winner, like the rather boring Jailbreak, there are plenty of options here. Ultimately though, even if you don't take to every single mode in the game, you'll at least find a handful here that you'll want to keep returning to over and over again. My personal favorite was the Juggernaut mode which has players battling towards the center to grab a Gatling gun and trying to kill the most enemies with that Gatling gun in order to rack up the most points. And because the majority of these modes are easy enough for anyone to pick up and jump into, I could see the potential for groups of players to have lots of fun even setting it to random and just going with it. There is also an add-on DLC pack for this game which adds even more content. Unfortunately we weren't able to test that for this review, but as far as single player content goes, Night Squad is probably not going going to be the game for you, however I will say it's commendable that it does have a few challenges for single players. These challenges might have you trying to take out worms, which reminded me of Moldrum from Link to the Past, or battling evil trolls trying to hit them from behind. Most of these modes serve merely as a distraction, but I will say the developer went the extra mile to include online leaderboards for these modes so that you can compete to get higher scores than other players. As far as presentation goes, Night Squad isn't going to win any awards, but I'm always a sucker for a medieval setting. I will say that the zoom is quite far out on this game, so it's hard to make out some of the smaller details of your knights and the enemies that are on screen. I do think that the character select screen is quite well done though in this game. I actually appreciate all of the different details they put into making these knights have distinct personalities and characteristics. But the soundtrack was 100% not for me. I am not a dubstep fan, and that's what the majority of the music in this game is. I'm not sure why they went with that decision based on the fact that this is a game about medieval knights. I think that a similar soundtrack would have been nice. Though I do have to give credit to the announcer in this game who sounds straight out of Mortal Kombat and it did make me chuckle on a few occasions. Shockwave wins. Night Squad is a fun and simple party game that's easy enough for anyone to jump into and has a lot of different modes of play which will keep you busy for many hours into the night. Even though I wish I had more players to actually experience it with at the moment and unfortunately there was no online play implemented at the time of this review, me and my co-op partner did have a fun time messing around with all of the different modes and could certainly see the potential for a lot of fun with a large group of friends. 
I can appreciate all of the customizable options that the game allows, including the ability to set your time limit to however long you want a match to be. If you do enjoy party games like Bomberman and you're able to gather up some Knights of the Round for a fun night in, Night Squad brings great justice to the party game genre. So for now, I bid thee farewell. Thank you so much for checking out Media Moogle's content today. Please do consider hitting the subscribe button below so that you can keep up with all we do in our fight to bring a voice to the voiceless in gaming. If you really, really like us, you can head on over to MediaMoogle.net where we have some great podcasts for you to listen to, or head on over to Patreon.com slash MediaMoogle where we have three wonderful tiers to check out. There's also a ton of other ways to interact with us, including Discord and Reddit that you can check out in the description below. Thank you so much for your support of Media Moogle.